Hello guys, welcome to Mr. Legend Crypto. Guys, in this video, we'll taking a look at Havex Finance, currently up 19.2% in the last one week. Havex Finance currently down 70% in the last one year. What's our pathway to a new all-time high for this altcoin? In this video, we'll be taking a look at the Havex Finance US dollar price chart on a weekly time frame. We've seen Havex Finance drop to as low as $26 in the bear market of 2022. Can we go any lower in the bear market? How high can Havex Finance go by the end of the next bull run? We'll also be looking at Havex Finance performance against Bitcoin, Havex Finance performance against Ethereum, and then we'll take a peek at Havex Finance market cap. Currently, Havex Finance has a market cap of $24 million. How high do we believe the market cap can get to by the end of the next bull run? We'll be talking about that and more in this video. But first, guys, when it comes to investing, nothing will pay off more than educating yourself and investment in knowledge pays the best interest so if you want to make money long-term trading or investing in cryptocurrencies if you want to get the latest crypto news price predictions and chat analysis this is the channel for you don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this let's get down to business guys Right now, we're deep in the crypto bear market. Harvest Finance has lost 70% of its value in the last one year. In the last one month alone, it's down 7.4%. But the good news is that in the last one week, Harvest Finance has gone up 19.2%. All coins are down really bad in the last one year. But guys, if you want to make money by the end of the next bull run, right now is the time to invest. Billionaires are made in the crypto bear market. If you take a look at Harvest Finance performance against the US dollar, over the last two years, Harvest Finance has been dumping, going to Goblin Town. But guys, at some point in time in the future, we will see this all coin pump to the moon. We've had some pumps in the past, but we're waiting for that mama jammer of a pump that might probably take Harvest Finance above $1,000. When Harvest Finance was launched in September 2020, we saw it drop to as low as $71. Finally pumping to as high as $417, Havex Finance went up more than 500% in 144 days. But all coins are known to be very, very volatile and we saw Havex Finance going from as high as $429 in February 2021. We saw it dump to a new all-time low of $38. That was a 90% dump in 128 days, but then Havex Finance carried itself from the that $8 region pumped back to as high as $117. We couldn't set new all-time highs. In 51 days, we saw Havex Finance go up over a thousand percent. And that was good to see. But guys, all coins are very, very tricky. When they start pumping to the moon, you want to be careful. Yes, they can keep pumping to the moon. At the same time, they have the abilities to dump down to Goblin Town in the bear market. Because Havex Finance went from the 11th of August 2021 trading around the $417 region. We have seen it dump to as low as $26 in the bear market of 2022. In 308 days, Harvest Finance lost more than 93% of its value. Right now, we have come back to test the June lows. We have seen Havex Finance come back to the $26 region in November 2022. Will that low hold in the bear market? Or will Havex Finance set new all-time lows in the crypto bear market of 2022? We have seen Havex Finance catch a bounce of the $26 level, going up more than 60%. Key levels that we paying close attention to for Havex Finance as we start pumping to new all-time highs in the future. The $41 level will be a very, very critical level for Havex Finance. You can take a look at what Havex Finance has done in the past. We have had some pretty important reactions around that level. When we started pumping to the moon in 2021, we caught a bounce of the $40 level. Right now in the bear market of 2022, Havex Finance is having some major reactions to that $40 region. Above it, we look very bullish. Maybe the bottom is in. Below it, there's extreme fear. We might be dumping to Goblin Town. And there's always that possibility we might dump to Goblin Town. But if you're holding Havex Finance for the long haul, you have to be willing to enjoy the dumps. At the same time, just know that the pumps is in the future because when Havex Finance start pumping to the moon, you will be happy you accumulated in the bear market. Guys, it's not just Havex Finance that is down really bad in the bear market. We have other altcoins really down. Even the king of the market, Bitcoin, is down 65% in the last one year. Ethereum is down 69% in the last one year. Havex Finance is just down only 70% in the last one year. 
If you are holding Havex Finance, getting ready for the next bull run, another key level you should pay attention to as we are pumping to higher prices should be the $71 region. Havex Finance was holding that level through the bull run. When we finally broke below that level in May 2022, Havex Finance has not been able to close a candle above the $71 region. So I believe that $71 region will be a very pivotal level for Havex Finance. If we start pumping to higher prices, other key levels to pay close attention to for Havex Finance as we start pumping to higher prices. Pay attention to Havex Finance price will be doing around the $131 region. If we go higher than that in this bear market, I believe we might face some heavy, heavy resistance around the $270 region. We saw Havex Finance trading around the $270 region in December 2021, and since then, Havex Finance lost more than 90% of its value. So if I see Havex Finance trading above the $270 region, I believe we're ready for new all-time highs. The bull run is here for Havex Finance. And guys, after the $270 region, we are just left with one major resistance level, and that will be the $423 region. If Havex Finance can go through all this resistance level, then we'll be ready for new all-time highs. And how high do we believe Havex Finance will go by the end of the next bull run? This all coin can get to as high as over $1,700 by the end of the next bull run. From where Havex Finance is currently trading right now, for it to get to that $1,700 region, Havex Finance will need to go up over 4,900%. It means $1,000 invested in Havex Finance right now should return over $49,000 if we see it getting to the $1,780 region in the future. Let's take a look at some details about Havex Finance right now. In the bear market, we have seen it gone from as high as $278 to as low as $25 in the last one year. Currently, Havex Finance has a market cap of $24 million. We have over 99% of all Havex Finance in circulation. The maximum supply is 690,000 tokens. The total supply is 700,443 tokens. Currently around 501 on coin market cap, over 27,000 people have Havex Finance on their watch list. Havex Finance is described to automatically farm the highest yield available from the newest DeFi protocol and optimize the yields that are received using the latest farming technique. Farm is the governance token for Harvest. It claims that farm holders can vote on proposal for the farm operation treasury and receive 5% fees from Harvest operations. Where can you get some Harvest Finance? If you want to get some, get ready for the next bull run. You can get this all coin on Binance, on Coinbase, on Kraken, on Uniswap, on SushiSwap. And guys, anywhere you get your popular altcoins, you can get some Harvest Finance right there. If you take a look at Harvest Finance performance against Bitcoin, it has been dumping to Goblin Town since it was launched in August 2020. In the bull run, we saw it outperform Bitcoin by around 635%. And right now, for Harvest Finance to set new all time highs against Bitcoin in the future, Harvest Finance will need to go up around 9,600%. Can you do that by the end of the next bull run? We'll take a look at Havex Finance performance against Ethereum. Right now, Havex Finance is down really bad in the bear market. From where Havex Finance was trading against Ethereum on 19th of October 2020, we have seen Havex Finance lose more than 97% of its value against Ethereum. And for Havex Finance to go back to the level where we are trading in October 2020, it will need to outperform Ethereum by over 3,300%. I believe that will be possible if you picture a world where Bitcoin is trading towards $100,000 and Ethereum is heading towards $10,000. I won't be shocked to see Havex Finance setting new all-time highs, both against Bitcoin and Ethereum. If you take a look at Havex Finance market cap, right now we have seen the market cap even drop to as low as $17 million in the bear market. It's currently trading around $23 million on its market cap chart. Guys, for Havex Finance market cap to set new all-time highs, we will have to take out the high we set around the two point. We have to take out the high we said around the $255 million region and that happened in August 2021. From where Havex Finance market cap is right now, the market cap we have to go up 971%. For us to get to that $255 million region, how high do I believe Harvest Finance market cap can get to by the end of the next bull run? We have to use the Fibonacci retracement tool for that. And guys, according to the Fibonacci retracement tool, Harvest Finance market cap can even get to as high as over a billion dollars by the end of the next bull run. For Harvest Finance market cap to get that high by the end of the next bull run, we have to see the market cap go up over 4,500% in that time frame. So drop your thoughts in the comment section. Are you buying some Harvest Finance right now in the bear market? Do you believe this altcoin is going to set new all-time highs by the end of the next bull run? 
Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Turn on the post notification if you want to get notified anytime I drop a new video. See you guys in my next video.